Hello guys and welcome to Walking Project and this is the unreleased prototype Essential Gem PH2 or Phone 2. Now, in case you didn't know, Essential uh, was a, well, at least was trying to be an innovative brand. They released their first Essential Phone 1 in 2017. It wasn't big of a success because it had quite a lot of software and hardware issues, but the phone was nice. Nevertheless, I reviewed it on my channel years ago and in late 2019 they introduced the Essential Gem phone, a phone with a rather, uh, you know, innovative design and new ideas on the market and before they released it, the company shut down pretty much and I really never thought that I'm gonna be able to get my hands on one of those units because check this out guys check this paintwork this phone looks absolutely amazing and you can definitely uh, you know tell where it got this inspiration we've got the higher pen phones uh, from back in the day those had the laser pointer over here by the way and you have the uh, Nokia lipstick phones as they used to call them back in the day so very very similar in terms of uh, design and shape of course they did something with the keyboard as well which I'm going to show you in just a couple of minutes but now let's have a look at this phone now this is a test unit so not everything works as it should for example the fingerprint reader over here doesn't really work to be honest with you by looking at it I'm not really sure that there's actually a fingerprint reader over here but nevertheless we have the camera at the back we have the flash over here we have these tiny little buttons for volume up, up and down the power button over here and on this side we have a single sim slot guys and at the bottom USB-C and of course the microphone over here on top we have which is kind of interesting we have two additional microphones guys check this out there we go so yeah um, that's as I said that's an unreleased prototype uh, the software is not ready for public yet so not everything works but to be honest with you with this crazy aspect ratio of the screen well there would be uh, quite a lot of optimizations needed for the applications to run and the thing is the phone is uh, running an old Android version so expect things not to work properly but yeah um, that's the that's the main, uh, that's the main uh, operation of the phone pretty much, you hold it like that, power button is exactly where you need it and on the selfie camera we have this rather weird you know, mirror like coating over here which doesn't seem to affect the picture quality uh, let me just show you a selfie very quickly guys as you can see over here we have the HDR on and there's quite a lot of detail over here particularly on my beard uh, let's go back, that's another selfie that I've done over here the other day have a look guys that's not too bad let's not too bad let's have a look at the details over here in terms of megapixels and everything we're gonna have a look in a minute of the details because the only information we have from the well the information leaked a couple of years ago that the phone is running snapdragon 730 and pretty much nothing else is known about this phone up until now we're gonna go to the application and we're gonna go through all the specifications but yeah check this out even the main camera is not too bad it's not too bad there's plenty of detail over here guys and what else one more photo over here that i'm going to show you check this out the hdr is spot on over here let's turn the phone like that let's see what happens okay auto rotate doesn't work but yeah there's there's quite a lot of details guys that was that was a promising package in terms of in terms of cameras but yeah um what else that that's the main idea of the phone one thing which is missing from what i can see is the date and time uh, shortcuts they're just not there and for example this one is showing that there is no reception where actually you can see that I have some reception on the EE network over here so in terms of calls Bluetooth uh, you know maps this phone actually works 87% about the battery now we're gonna go through the battery specification in a minute but don't expect much and remember all of these phones had pretty much especially the higher ones had pretty much terrible battery life um, so yeah the interface actually auto rotates over here which is kind of nice and those tiles remind me a lot like the uh, windows like like the windows phone tiles guys and these are the applications that i have actually installed uh, additionally on my phone 
Um, now this phone has micro G installed, which means that you should be able to sync your Google account. I haven't gone uh, that deep into details, but yeah, the shortcuts guys, the shortcuts work fine. You can see messaging over here. Uh, you can see, I don't know, email, phone, camera over here. There you go. The camera works and it's rather weird. Check this out. You have the camera here, but at the same time it's handy because you just press the button over here and there you go. Let's take one photo. Boom. There you go, guys. So kind of interesting. Um, now, let's have a look at the specifications because I know that you've been waiting for that. And also the settings menu. Check this out. The settings menu itself looks much like a regular Android phone. Let's have a look what can we understand from uh, these menus over here. So we have the, let's have a look, Essential PH2. This phone number is for testing purposes only, so I don't care if you have it or not, to be honest with you. And check this out, the build number, it says test keys over here, guys, Android 10. That's one of the reasons that many applications don't really work. Android 10 is, well, is, is quite old. Um, I have recent phones with Android 12 that they're struggling with some applications, let alone 10. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's have a look at the specifications of this phone, guys. Now, have a look at what is happening over here in this uh, application, guys. So, Essential Products PH2, the resolution of the screen is absolutely crazy, guys. 2160 by 560, which is some sort of a weird aspect ratio, like 27 by 7 or something like that which is very weird, 4 gigabytes of RAM. The SOC is Snapdragon 730, as rumored. Yes, which is a, well, it's a mid-range, you know, SOC, which is fine, considering the resolution of the screen, I guess, and for the battery concerns. Uh, let's have a look at what else can we actually see over here, guys. If there is any kind of useful information for you, well, you can find it over here, I can imagine. Let's move on to the screen. Yes, so 320 ppi and what else? 90 hertz, which is interesting. It's 90 hertz screen, guys. And indeed, it feels very smooth. 5.3 uh, 5 inch screen in terms of memory. Uh, 4 gigabytes uh, over here of RAM. And we have uh, 64 gigabytes of onboard storage, which was pretty much on par back in the day. Now, interestingly, why the cameras are good? Well, as you can see, we have Sony IMX 586 camera and for the uh, selfie camera, most probably Sony IMX 258 or S5K5. Yeah, one of those, one of those cameras. Uh, so overall, overall, not too bad um, of a cameras. Uh, let's have a look over here, guys. So 48 megapixel. Um, which shoots in 12 megapixels over here is the rear camera and the front camera as you can see is 13 megapixels over here guys which is which is not too bad now the battery itself is 1000 milliamp hours which is very small very very small battery as you can see i haven't done much and i'm down to 85 percent i recharged the phone two hours ago so we're looking at i can imagine about three hours of screen on time something like that all the sensors are pretty much in and that's about it specification wise if you swipe once over here guys uh, it brings you back and if you swipe over here on the right hand side it takes you back to the main menu now youtube let's have a quick look at what does youtube looks like guys uh it, it's kind of fun i'm gonna keep this muted for copyright purposes of course uh let me see let me see let me see how can we keep this muted Okay, there we go. But YouTube looks something like that, which is extremely weird, guys. Let's see if it's gonna run or not. Ah, come on, it started running. It started running a minute ago. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The duck song. I have no idea what that is, but that's how YouTube looks like. It's kind of kind of neat, but overall, I mean, this is this is a very small. Uh, actually, I guess for stories is fine. I've tried to run TikTok of this phone, but it doesn't work, guys. And currently you have absolutely no customizations about the tiles and about anything else, really. If you just press somewhere, nothing really happens. Um, but in terms of games, we have Wind Up Night or whatever uh, the name is. Uh, that's optimized game for this particular phone. And it looks very funky, guys. I'm just going to play it very briefly. I'm going to put the sound on over here. 
check this out it's kind of cute it's kind of cute and definitely it looks nice when optimized on the screen i'm going to run a couple of more applications so you can get an idea but check this out guys i mean hold shield okay holding shield like that oops of course i'm not very good at this game uh, from what you can see uh, but yeah let's see come on there we go hold shield okay i'm gonna hold shield here as well there we go there we go i'm getting the hang of it yes yeah, oops yeah, it's kind of nice it's kind of nice to be honest with you it's kind of nice let me see how do we how do we actually exit oh okay there we go how do we exit this game well i guess we can go like that and we exit the game now what i've done of course is i installed nova launcher straight away and boom there we go we have a little bit of a more familiar interface over here with the uh you know applications i have brave browser aurora store fdroid the essentials pretty much and also i have organized the icons like that so they will be a little bit more familiar for the um you know everyday people and fruit ninja let's have a look fruit ninja looks kind of weird uh but definitely playable guys let me see if it's gonna run or not last time i played it it ran fine but there we go a little bit of a slowdown let's go let's go yeah you still have some visible uh you know screen over here so it's kind of nice um this game works fine there we go let's try let's try another game guys let's see what else do we have uh okay i'm gonna open nova launcher again what else do we have there's the subway surfing now there's a system updater application which doesn't give us uh you know much of a details of what is happening over here apply an update well there's some sort of a manual application for applying the updates and let's see what else do we have over here guys voice integration oh yes i was about to show you the i was about to show you the keyboard the keyboard is very funky guys now i have the gboard which is which is extremely tiny over here but let me show you uh, in the settings let me see there we go and this is the keyboard this is the essential keyboard which looks very weird guys and it's extremely uncomfortable to type on pretty much uh so yeah this is this is the uh uppercase over here this is the enter button for whatever reason guys uh, and this is the delete button and we have one hidden button over here this is the space button but overall it's a very very weird looking keyboard guys uh you can't really deny that but i guess that's part of the quirks of this device and also let's have a look what else do we have over here guys we have the micro g settings over here uh, as i told you a little bit earlier about this device you can actually run the google stuff over here and modem locks let's have a look what's happening these are some uh weird to me uh, you know developer applications which you know there we go there there and what else off-road legends let's try off-road legends and see what are we dealing with over here guys career warm-up stage two there we go and this this app looks like this is running you know relatively all right to be honest with you check this out guys is is very weird on that screen is very weird but i like how portable the desire the device is overall and how small and easy it is to use in the hand check this out guys there's nothing like it on the market and i think if they released it at um, let's say a competitive price they would have sold quite a few units because it was something new and something you know interesting for kids for uh well all of the youtubers would have gotten one um and i think it would be relatively successful but they went bust before before launching it which is which is unfortunate so yeah let's have a look at this subway surfers uh, game over here guys missions how do we even play this game now i installed this game you know just to just to show how to play it uh, i usually don't play games like that but check this out guys this is kind of still playable over here and it looks very very weird guys uh, but yeah you can still have a little bit of fun and what was the last game that i was about to show you let me see this one over here 
the stunt bike extreme let's have a look what are we dealing with over here this is straightforward consent okay play straight away and there we go guys there we go we can play uh, this game over here and it runs very very smooth to be honest with you all things considered that it's a test device with Android 10 um, this game plays rather well but yeah that's that's pretty much it guys um that's pretty much for the essential gem phone a really nice build quality of the device again considering this a prototype device i really really like what i see over here it's an extremely era unit and again i'm grateful that i managed to uh, find one and feature it on the channel guys let me know what else should i play uh, what else should I install? Are you interested of me doing some extra content of this phone or not? And this is the case, of course, which looks absolutely terrible, to be honest with you guys. Um, but yeah, it's a case after all. I can imagine it gets the job done. It covers the paintwork, but nevertheless, guys. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Uh,